Since the outbreak of COVID-19, hate crimes against the Asian American Pacific Islander community have been surging at alarming rates. Reports range from verbal attacks on the streets or subways to extreme physical assault committed in broad daylight. Nonetheless, little has been done by any level of law enforcement to provide justice for these victims or prevention for future crimes. However, the discrimination of the Asian community is not simply a product of xenophobia and blame for the coronavirus. Years of normalizing racism through social media, entertainment, and other public platforms have led to much of the stigma and misunderstanding. Public figures or government officials such as President Trump labeling the disease as a China virus have only encouraged the current animosity towards Asians. It was not the correct term. Associating any disease with a place or an ethnicity can only cause stigma. Despite the sentiment, more than 20 million Asian Americans currently live in the United States, and over 2 million AAPI individuals are working on the front lines of the pandemic. While prejudice is not a new concept for Asians, this kind of racist resentment is a recurring pattern in American history, particularly during health crises or wartime. One thing that we have as an Asian community is a perpetual foreigner stereotype. No matter how long we've been here, there are people who believe that we are always foreigners in our land. Not only is it our job to provide factual and accurate information to help educate our peers, but our job as a community to look out for our neighbors in a time of fear and uncertainty. You are not alone. We have to work together to make sure we fight against this bigotry and that we create unity. That takes speaking out. Make the choice today to unite and protect one another for we are all one race facing this pandemic. With that being said, this has been Eva. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong.